guys, uh, today I'm working on the uh, ML193 Lennox 93% uh, efficient uh, furnace and I'd like to show you how to check a total external static pressure on this unit. So first thing that we do is we want to make sure our blower is set for the highest speed so we have a black wire set to cool. Uh, that's right here. It's going to cool. Um, now we want to make sure the blower is going to turn on and the, the board is going to call for the AC speed. So what I'm going to do is since right now it's cold outside, um, I will disconnect the AC wiring and just jump R to Y to have the blower kick on when we're going to be doing the test. So what I do is I disconnect R that just to disable the smart thermostat that we have. We have Nest. So I don't want to short it out or something. I always disconnect R and then we are disconnecting Y. So that's the wire that goes to our thermostat and this is the wire that goes to our condenser unit. I like to disconnect both and then we are getting the jumper and we jump our R and Y terminal so now when I close the door and I have my probe inside uh, my blower will, will turn on the highest speed so let's see, let's close this to place the probe uh, between the filter and furnace since I don't have any room here I will be drilling a hole inside the door and that's how I'm gonna uh, measure the static pressure <coughs> so let's drill a hole actually first so I'm getting my cobra here I do have three eight plugs for it, so I'm drilling a three eight hole in the door that I'm gonna plug later. EM201B to check static pressure, gas pressure, um, if I need to measure the pressure that's in what inducer is pulling in order to close the pressure switch. So that's what I'm using. And got our probe. So sometimes I can, like in this meter, I can connect one hose to return, one hose to the supply, uh, I mean to negative and positive pressure and have multiple readings, I just like to do it one at a time. So we're sticking out this probe inside. The tip of the probe should follow the airflow. So if, I'm, if my air is going this way and up, that's how I'm gonna place the probe inside. Just like that. And then gonna start 
power meter. Make sure it's zero. We're gonna turn on the power and see what the static pressure is for the inverter. Just turn the power on. 0.65 is just for return size, so basically it takes into consideration filter, return duct work, and you know everything, everything basically after the filter. If I place the probe here and we're not gonna see the filter, we're just gonna measure the static pressure in the return duct. So manufacturer calls for 0.5 total means return plus supply so let's let's get let's get we'll get to it uh, in a bit so this is 0 0.67 not 0.65 let's take a minute 0.66 gonna be our return uh, static okay all right so now um, to measure the positive pressure we have to place our probe after the furnace and before the coil well, there is no room just because our evaporator coil sits right on top of the furnace and what i like about lennox furnace is that over here there is our limit switch where i can easily place my probe and check the, the static pressure for the positive side so let's do it let's unscrew it off three screws that's holding this high limit here and that's what we're taking out To take this out, we have to twist this. Um, so we'll have to turn it around actually. Because there's not enough room inside. And then we can put it back. Okay, and that's our sensor. So I just leave it hanging as is right now um, let's take our meter now I'll place it here and then we put a probe same direction of airflow it's gonna be up so that's how we place the the tip of the probe too okay So as you can see, the actual probe isn't covering the hole completely on this side and probably a quarter inch on this side or something. Um, I don't do anything about it. I still think it gives a pretty accurate reading. Um, let me know guys if you cover it with, with anything or tape it when you check or check the static or if it does have an effect uh, on the reading. All right, so since the probe is in, our meter is showing something. So we're gonna press zero just to zero it out. And we're gonna turn the power on. Our blower is supposed to start. And this is our supply. 0.29.7 Yeah, let's take a middle again. 0.28 is gonna be our supply. For the supply, this is 
you know, what's, I would say it's an, an it's an appropriate reading. Uh, that's what we should most likely get through the supply um, since we have our coil in. Uh, but the return was too high, so okay, let's shut this off. And let me record again the reading. Okay, so we have our supply point two eight. Okay, so now we add this together to get a total external static pressure. Then point nine four. Point point nine four. Point nine four that's the static pressure of this furnace so almost an inch guys so you see how um, I would say manufacturers uh, you know been putting this 0.5 design static pressure but I almost never see 0.5 uh, just of static pressure anywhere um, what could be the problem here you say the problem could be first improperly sized ductwork um, as you can see our return duct ends up here and then we have a round pipe that's going up I'll show you behind all right so this is our I suppose this is a 12 inch one and 12 inch uh, the other pipe so if we check the airflow the airflow that's uh, supposed to bring I'll show you in a second if I open up my duct fork um, file airflow let's check airflow ductwork airflow all right so we have a 12 inch okay here you go round metal pipe 12 inches give us 525 uh, CFM of air we have two so we have a thousand fifty okay thousand fifty cfm that's supplying this furnace and now let's check the furnace um, the 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 sticker from it the information what do we get we have 193 uh 090 that's 90,000 btu xp 36 36 it's a uh, three ton blower which produces 1200 cfm so just right here without doing you know all the other tests i can tell that um the, this setup doesn't have enough return air to supply the furnace we have 1050 that's going into the furnace but the blower needs 1200 at least to properly circulate the air this fresh air damper, damper control I don't even count because this is flex and it's not always open so at most it would give you like 80 CFM or less um, which is which is nothing basically it's just fresh air that supplies to the furnace so I don't count that so you can see how uh, badly designed furnace, uh, you know, setup was here. That's why our static pressure on the return side goes up, uh, which should be much lower than that in 0.66. Um, yeah, let me know guys if uh, this was interesting and if you find, found it helpful. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. 
uh, at this moment when I record the video, um, currently there are 52 subscribers on the channel. I'm really thankful for the people who subscribe and who support the channel. Um, I didn't uh, plan or I didn't expect to achieve that number that quick. Uh, thank you to all of you and uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one.